Lisa Wick here with Art Beats Cafe, where we have everything caffeinated, beady, and oh, oh my gosh, knitty. We're doing knitting. We're doing beading and knitting, and I can't even tell you how excited I am. Well, can you tell? I guess you can tell. <laughs> so excited. Cynthia's here with me. Cynthia. Yes. Fabulous to have you again. Thank you. And we have a wonderful, wonderful guest, Meg, our graphic designer here at Art Beats, and she is phenomenal. Wait till you see this stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're going to dive right in because I can't even stand this. I am a beginning knitter. I have only been knitting for three months. Okay. So I'm very, very, very basic. I can only do two stitches. I can only knit in pearl. But guess what I made? Oh, goodness. I did this with Swarovski crystals, mm -hmm. the Brioles. There are over 200 of them in this scarf. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like a queen when you wear it, I gotta say. And I just think it's so gorgeous because I used some colors that weren't over the top, shiny, like yes. rhinestone-y. People think that when you do knitting with crystals, it's going to be, oh, too bright and too yeah. rhinestone-y. No, I like the muted tones. So this mm. kind of reminded me of the ocean with the greens. So I just, oh my goodness, love that. So did some real basic stuff with that. Then I also had to use mm. some lovely beads. So these are just size sixes, and that's all I'm using right now because I'm a beginner. And size six kind of seems to be the nice fit, perfect mm -hmm. size to get on a lot of different yarns. Mm -hmm. And so I added lots of beads here, and you can see this feels like a dream to wear. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, isn't that lovely? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. really wonderful. Good weight on it. Mm -hmm. It yes. does, and it's part silk and alpaca, mm -hmm. so with a little. Um, silver in there so it has a little glimmer already and then the seed beads I used a matte finish on those so that the little silver would sparkle mm. so again it's really fun oh my goodness it's really and fun I cannot believe that you're just a beginner oh. to be able to do this those are beautiful oh well it's the components it's the yarn and it's I mean crystals and beads could you go wrong I mean <laughs> no. fabulous so those are my favorite things and so now Megan show us what you got this is like the best show and tell ever on Art Beats Cafe if I may say that Right. Well, I've done a little bit of knitting with beads as well, as you can see here. This is the beginning of a scarf. Um, I just did a little knitting with beads at the bottom to, to start it off, and then I'll go keep it playing up towards the top. Um, so it's like a border. So you're going to do a border out of beads? Yeah. That's yeah, so cool. And they look gorgeous on that yarn because that's a nice bulky yarn. Yeah, mm -hmm. Nice. It's a good roving yarn. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, and then I did the same over here. Um, <gasps> But I added yeah. multiple beads in between each row to give it a little bit of a spread. Love it. Yeah. Look at that. And your color combination is really wild. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love it. Um, and then I decided I wanted to do some embellishing something that I already already what? knitted here. So I have a headband. Great. Um, and I added some chain and a little bit of bead in between here. So um, did you sew? You sewed the beads? Yeah, yeah. I just sewed okay. them on afterwards. Afterwards. Oh, so yeah. you knit the headband first and yeah. then you did this after. Mm-hmm. That's, That's so good. And you just gathered it and put chain around the middle. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Um, and then I decided I wanted to use knit as uh, an extra special splash in, in a piece of jewelry without beads. Um, so I went ahead and made these <gasps> earrings. Those are really interesting. It's, really, it's, <clears throat> it's just a little bit of a knit swatch, and I just wanted to incorporate that into a piece of jewelry. Okay. I love this. I know. We have so many questions. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you can go first. <laughs> and this, this is a piece of copper that you just fold mm -hmm. above mm -hmm. it. I wanted okay. to give it some structure because knit is such a loose fabric. I wanted it to, to hold it rigid at the top and, and keep it in one shape so that you could wear it and it wouldn't sag or anything like that because that's right. one thing you have to think about with knit in your jewelry is is how it's going to hang and right. lay and that sort of thing. Yeah, it's a softer thing so yeah. it's much different than what yeah. we're used to working with beads and so then you <laughs> hammered the copper to give it texture on the top and make it secure at the same time, right? I did, I did. Oh my gosh! So it's a good way to cover up mistakes too. You know, <laughs> give it a good texture. We knew all oh, about that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, so so yeah. also with the structure, um, um, I made this beaded cuff here, and to give it some structure, I added some leather on the back to keep it keep Fabulous. it firm and stiff and in place. So, and so it finishes so yeah, well. Yeah, look at the nice finish. So the leather's on the inside, mm -hmm. and then you knit this. And so did you add the leather at the end? Or in the beginning? At the end. At the end. So I knitted the whole piece, and then and then it's a and solid. I just sewed it on. Look at that. It's like a whole solid. Mm-hmm. 
That's a lovely technique. <laughs> Ooh, very nice. So I also brought a couple of other swatches. Um, this is actually a pocket that I made. <laughs> oh. I love little embellishments like that, you know, mm -hmm. on a shirt, a pocket. So you make the pocket um, first and then you would sew it on afterwards. Exactly. Oh, that's cute. Or that's cute. even pin it on if, if you want to wash it differently. Um, but this one, I, I strung beads on thread and then I just ran that along with my knit as I'm knitting. Oh, okay. So it's just like an extra piece of yarn um, and, and they just spread themselves. So so it's really random yes, yeah. how that yeah. ends up, which yeah. is really organic. It has a really nice organic feeling to exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Ooh. Okay, and your next piece. Oh my goodness. This one. Okay, this is so cool. So what you're wearing and this piece, it's the same technique. Mm -hmm. Who knew? Tell so, us a little about it. So that is knitting with beads. You string all your beads on first, and then um, as you're knitting, you will string it on between a row. So, Interesting. So this is between each row, I added this wood bead. Okay, oh, so I these see. are wood beads. Now this would make a great purse or a cell phone. Mm -hmm. Purse or any kind of belt. Or, that's wonderful. And your this necklace is the same technique. I love that. Thank and we want both of that. Whoa, <laughs> we, we want one. <laughs> Here's our order. <laughs> So oh. I did simply the same thing, um, just adding these gold tube beads between the rows, and then I added a chain on the edges and just stitched it on. Oh. Gosh, <laughs> did it take a long time to do that? Uh, not really. I mean, you're just knitting a tiny little swatch. Right. I think stringing the beads on took the longest, <laughs> really. Because it's such a fascinating idea yes. of how you put that design together that anybody would love to wear that. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of movement to it. Like when you're moving, you can see that it... Which yeah. is good for yarn because mm -hmm. it's soft and so it's moving as opposed to some of the beaded things that we mm -hmm. made. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. That's really good. And then the piece de la resistance. Did I say that right? <laughs> um, Check that out. So lastly, I decided I wanted to do um, an art piece of sorts with knitting and uh, chain and some of the oh. special yarns that Art Beat sells. Um, I, I made this freeform knit piece and turned it into a bib necklace. That is that remarkable. Is <laughs> and, oh my goodness, it's abstract, it's, there's chain in there, there's beads in there, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, mm -hmm. I don't even know how you came up with that. And I love how you finish here with the chain. That is such a great idea too. Thank you. Great idea. So here are some of the... Um, knitted yarns that are beads sells they are so and some cool. chain a little bit here and then some after embellishments here and it looks like maybe you use some of your scraps mm -hmm. of the yarns that you have at home that you can't mm -hmm. bear to part with a little bit of but you only need a little yeah and i love yeah. how it's poking out this is absolutely um not an a-type Mm -hmm. <laughs> project. This is like, if you like the organic, which we do. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. It's very unique. Mm -hmm. Very unique. My favorite part about it is that you can just do whatever you want, and if you mess up, it's okay, you know? It's, it's just rocking who, that mess up artistic look, so. Who would know, right? <laughs> I mean, oh. Intentional. Oh. Intentional messed up artistic yes. look. I like that. That's the new yeah. trend. <laughs> Oh, Meg, That's thanks so for sharing. That's so gorgeous. Thank everything, so everything good. is wonderful. And now Cynthia yeah. has a lovely piece, too, I must say. Just a, a little piece. Those are gloves without fingers. And I made those because when I tap on my computer for a long time, then my hands are very cold. So I still need to have um, enough a space for my fingers to yeah, move. movement. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> so I did them fingerless. And I thought, you know what? Might as well put something embellishing them to make them cuter. So I just put with jump ring. I just put jump ring on the yarn oh, and put some little charm on can it. Can you hold that up so we can see how they dangle? Yes. Look at that. Yes. That is such a clever idea. Really cute. And I love this for any age group because you could make the charms for any age group. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very cool. And Very trendy. You can use any type of yarn also. Oh, those and are you beautifully warm. done. <laughs> yes. so warm. You are men fashionable, <laughs> which is hard to do. <laughs> oh, you guys, this was so fun. All these things, so inspiring. It makes me want to knit right now. Okay, see you later. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, <clears throat> so
so I have my crystal wigs picks, which mm -hmm. Meg used in her Bonnet. beautiful necklace, and these are Swarovski yarns. Now, they're fabulous. If you like anything has to do with Swarovski, which we do, <laughs> and yarn, it's all on one. They have beads, well I should say pearls, some of them have pearls and some of them have crystals. And they are absolutely gorgeous to work with. There's a mohair finish, and then this is more of a suede, and they are great to either use you know, in a piece itself, mm -hmm. or do what Meg did, and she used these in addition to a yarn, and you did the two strands together, right? Mm -hmm. So this is fabulous how it turns out. It's pretty thin yarn, I've got to say, so you would be using a very small needle for that. But again, mm -hmm. you use it with another, bunch it up with another yeah. yarn, and that's a whole different look. And what is great is the beads are already on the yarn. <laughs> that's yeah, the best so you don't have to spend time to spread all those beads. <laughs> yeah, because after a couple of these things, I'm like, whoa, yeah. 200? Are you kidding? <laughs> you guys can do it for us, Rossi. Thank you very much. <laughs> We love them. So, yeah, that's another idea to add into your lovely yarn pieces. Oh, this was so much fun. Thanks so much, Meg, for joining us and Cynthia. And thank you for tuning in to Artbeats Cafe, where we have all things caffeinated and nitty. Oh, goodness, this was much, 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 much fun for us. So feel free to join us and sign up for our newsletter or sign up for YouTube. We'll let you know when our next Artbeats Cafe is on. And don't forget, happy beating. And... Happy knitting. <laughs> <laughs>